doing a little Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. And today we've got... Hi, Mr. Villager. We're going to make progress today. Yes. So last we left off, I was having a, just a nightmarish day trying to get this to work. And after a lot of testing and going into a creative world to test, it just turns out that for whatever reason, these essences don't like to work on this crafting table. It's not a huge deal. They just, they're not going to work. And I'm just going to have to live with that. Now, the earth essence obviously works just fine. It's doing its thing, but we couldn't get these to work. So I just simplified the process and I took it and basically have the essence just going down here into individual chests. And as you can see, they're working just fine. They're filling down here. I've got no issues with anything else. Uh, we have so much dirt now. So much dirt. 26,000 compressed, which basically is, well, like, uh, what's three? 27, 270,000 dirt. Yeah, we've got plenty of dirt. We'll never need dirt again. So I might do something different in that plot or whatever. But these ones are easy. I can just do this one like that. If I need wood, I just grab the essences and do it this way. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, I would have liked it to auto craft, but whatever, four stacks of wood, we're good to go. So yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta, you know, gotta take what they give you. And that's what we're getting right now is basically I can't auto craft that stuff, but if I ever need wood, I can go make up a whole bunch and just, you know, put in the system. It's not a huge deal. I'd like for it to do it, but it's not going to, you know, so time to move on time to move on. So today I really kind of want to take a look at uh, some of the stuff in Gamma, but then also Delta, because we've already kind of dipped into it with all the with all the stuff that we've been doing with uh, Ender IO. So I figured, why not get some more stuff done, right? So one of the things I could do is actually start upgrading my power, and that could be creating uh, the higher level energy conduits, right? As well as higher level fluid ducts if we ever really need them, or fluid conduits. And then also start working on the uh, other capacitors because that's going to take us to this, the dimensional transceiver. And I, as far as I can tell, and when I was doing some testing or whatever, the dimensional transceiver is like the Ender IO version of a Tesseract. Wow, a lot of cows again. And so I think if we can get to there today, I would consider that a pretty accomplished day was basically getting the power to come from over there, over to here, as well as I believe we can do item issues. So we're going to see, we're going to really test that one out, but we got to start somewhere. And that's where we're going to start right here is trying to make the next level capacitor bank, right? So let us look that up and see what we got to do to make that thing. Um, we already have our basic capacitor. That's what we have planted up in the nether for our, um, oh, what do you call this thing? The, the capacitor seeds or whatever, but we need to make this guy, right? So I'm going to need two basic capacitors with some electrical steel and a double layer. That seems pretty simple, right? We've got all this, yeah, we're good to go. So let's make two of those up real quick. Um, let me grab you. So I need conductive iron. We're gonna need two of these. So conduct, actually, you know what? We're gonna make it all, so we're gonna need four. So conductive iron, I'm gonna need 16 of these, right? That'll give me four of those, yeah. And then I'm going to need some basic capacitors. If I could spell, do I, I don't have any, oh, if I spell correctly, there we go. I was like, I got a ton of those. Um, yeah, so we're going to need 16 of these as well. Oh, I put you in the wrong spot. And then some redstone blocks, right? And so one, two, three, four of those. And these should cook up really quickly. I, oh, I still forgot to fix these. Those crazy QEDs flying around with mini me. As a matter of fact, I forget where is Mini Me. I haven't seen him. Where are you, Mini Me? Can you turn that? There we go. Where are you, Mini Me? Oh, there you are. He's chilling over here. He's doing his thing. Are you just looking at the beautiful view? There's really not a lot to see over there, dude. Maybe look at that planet. I don't know. But Mini Me's doing his thing. All right. So let us get these going. So redstone in the middle. Basic capacitors like that conductive iron like that and we'll get four of those and then it was electrical steel with uh, a double layer capacitor so let us grab some electrical steel Wait, there's some in here aha there it is okay electrical steel 
and some double layers. There we go. I'm going to need two of you. All right. And I think that was it, right? Um, four, five. Yeah. That was, I think, if I remember, it was you two like that, you in the middle, and then wrap it in steel. Yes. Okay, cool. And now I probably, you know, should have looked at the other recipe. There we go. So we've got that uh, quest accomplished. Now we want to look for a vibrant one. So capacitor, we want the vibrant now. And that is two of those with an octetic and dark steel. Oh, that's simple. That is super, super simple. All right. So we have some dark. Oh, of course, I don't have any dark steel. Oh, what's the recipe for dark steel? I can make this. I'd like to make the seeds. That'd be nice. Uh, iron, coal, and obsidian. Okay, we can do that. So, iron and coal I have. Lots of it. Oh, I only have one stack right now. And obsidian. Oh, I guess I got the stacks of uh, blocks, so that'll work. What do we have in here? Okay, oh yeah, then I've got more in there. So, iron, coal, obsidian. Good. So we'll get that dark steel going. I thought I had some more, but it's okay. That's only going to take a second. We only need like six ingots of it. So let's put all of you guys back in here right now and let us grab our octetic. There it is. We've got 27 of those. And while we're waiting on that dark steel, I might just run to the nether and see how many more we have in our farm. I did kind of set it up for... I haven't like, you know, added any upgrades to these chests, so it's not going to be able to hold a ton, but I mean a decent amount. How many do we have? These are the octetics? Yes. So I've got 207 and then 111. They haven't filled yet, but that's still a decent amount. Let's go ahead and grab a couple stacks like so. Oh, you know what? Let me grab a couple stacks of each just so I know we have plenty of them. Yeah. See, this one's full. So I'll never... Oh, hey. Get in there. There you go. And this one's got quite a few too. Okay, cool. So now we've just got to... I probably will never need another capacitor. But, you know, there's no reason to take the farm down. It's working totally fine. It's doing its thing. I'm never around it. And it just does work for me. So, with that being said, I'm just going to let it do its thing. And up here. There we go. And we'll drop these off. So, we're good on capacitors for a very very long time there we go and I should have enough dark steel now I do so now we can go make our vibrant capacitor I think it's funny that my vibrant capacitor doesn't have any vibrant alloy in it um, I don't know if they consider this a harder material to make but sure whatever all right cool and now we've got that one complete so done claim the loot chest done claim the loot chest and now we want to check out this dimensional transceiver this guy was a little more complicated from what i could tell not drastically complicated but it is one of these ender resonators which we can make pretty easily another octetic capacitor that's easy we have our vibrant capacitor that's easy enlightened glass i believe is quartz and glowstone yes or fused quartz either or and so we can do that really simply. And then these guys, this is dark iron bars with dark blocks. So we're going to need four of these blocks. Okay. So we're going to need uh, nine, 36 per block. So 36 times four is 120, 140. Okay. So we got to get more of that dark steel going. That is something we got to start right now. So we'll get that iron going, right? So one, two, three, four, just to make sure we have enough and coal we'll grab all of this and we'll grab some more there we go and then obsidian and get that going three four there we go we'll go ahead and throw the coal in here to start pulverizing you and go ahead and oh there's more coal already in there cool we actually might have enough coal which is totally fine by me and are you auto filling now yes so how much do we have We've got 11, so we need 120 ingots plus enough to make the dark bars. Do I have any dark bars? I only have nine. We need 16 total. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and let those get going as well as I gotta make this uh, quartz, uh, the glass. So let me grab that, this, 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 and some glowstone. And I'll start getting all these going. And then once these are done, we will come back and kind of see where we're at. All right, travelers. So I think we've got all the materials we need. Dark fused quartz. How did I make that? That's the enlighten that I made with the glowstone and the fused quartz. Oh, the coal started. Oh, interesting. Ha. Huh, I didn't even notice it was doing that. I had switched it back over to make some more dark, uh, dark steel. Isn't it? Pay close enough attention. Interesting. Oh, does it say blast resistant? Ooh, that's interesting. That'll be something to come to play with. All right. So anyways, back to this. We are making our dimensional transceiver. All right. So I gotta make this guy. Um, I should be able to make a couple of you three. What oh, I need more, uh, dark steel. Okay. So let's make four more of you. One, two, three, four. And then I should be able to make the last one. There we go. Cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then uh, those are inside. That's it. Oh, Ender. Okay. So we need two Solarium, two Silicon Vibrant. Okay. We got all that. We got all of that. Um, silicon. Actually, you know what? We're going to want to make two of these, aren't we? How this entire time, I didn't even think about the fact that we're going to want to make two of these. Because I'm going to need one to receive and one to send, you know, one on both ends. Ooh, I hope I have enough materials to do that. I should have enough materials to do that. All right, so it was Vibrant, um, Solarium. All right, it was two of those. And Ender Heads. I think I got quite a few of those, actually. Um, Enderman Head, yeah, I got quite a few of those. Okay, cool. And so two, two, one, and one. Yes, I think we're good. I think we're good. So you, 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 and you. Perfect. You, you, you. Oh, two more solarium. <sighs> I was so close. One, two. Good thing I put it in the wrong one, so it was nice and easy to grab again. There we go. Two of you. And we just put in a whole bunch of capacitors, so we know we're good there. So let us make our dimensional transceiver. If I can spell. Okay. Transceiver, right? Yeah. Dimensional transceiver. Okay. So vibrant capacitor for. Okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's over here. That's not in the crafting. That is over here on the QED. Okay. So it was this in the middle. Um, that's dark fused. I need the enlightened right there. And you four in the corners, you right there. Oh, and my octetic. That's what I forgot to grab. And it looks like I'm going to have to make another vibrant capacitor too. Um, octetic. There we go. So that's the... Grab two for that. Let's make up some more capacitors. So, um, capacitor. I need... We're going to need four of these. So four elect uh, 16 electric steel, 16 basic, and four redstone again. So, um, what was that stuff? That is, oh, it's not pulsating. Which one is it? Conductive. That's it. Conductive. All right. So 16 of you and capacitors. I'm going to need 16 of you. I keep grabbing too many. Good. And then I'm going to need one double layer and one octetic. So there's you, there's you. Um, so it's four of those, four of those. Oh, redstone, that's what it was. Redstone in the middle. So one, two, three, four of you. Okay, the other one was electrical steel. And it's gonna be, oh, perfect, I need 12 of those. Aha, that's perfect. And then the other one was vibrant, I believe. No, it wasn't, it was dark. Dark. Oh, yeah, we got tons of that on us. I'll just grab the rest. Okay, I should have the recipe to make all of this stuff, and then we'll be able to make two of these guys. Okay, so you were one of my octetics, right? All right, cool. So we've got that, right? Perfect. Now, we got to make another one of these guys. So one, two, three, four. That is not how I wanted to do you. You go like that, between the corner. Okay, 
So we need four of you. Hey, get back here. Like so. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then you two split in half with the... Oh, I'm going to need two double air. Darn it. So you and that. Yes, let me go grab one more double air. Woohoo! Dimensional transceiver complete. And I need another double layer capacitor. So thank you right there. I like how it says complete and then updated. Well, isn't the complete the update? I don't know. That's just me. Um, an octetic capacitor and dark steel. Was it like that? Yes, it was. And there's another vibrant. Cool. We are heading in the right direction. Then the vibrant capacitor. You go on top. You go on the bottom. And... Oh, I forgot to make... I got to go make the other eight. <laughs> or the other four. Uh, let's see. Dimensional. You. You. And you. Oh, I got to make those blocks. Okay. So I need four of those. No, I need 16 of those. One, two, three... 16. Perfect. And now I should be able to make you find... There we go, four of those. And then I should be able to make you. Perfect, glass group. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so then it was this glass right here, like that, and you guys like that. Okay, now if all goes well, I should be able to hook one of these up to this system, and then I'm hoping the other one will hook to the other system uh, send and receive buffering item stacks send and receive local buffer oh and then it's all right here so like sending filters okay items I'm thinking I'll probably need let's switch this guy to in out I just think that makes sense right and then you're going to be like that I'm going to need one of those, oh, what are they called at Ender IO? The one that helps you see inventories. Um, where is it at? This thing right here. Uh, remote awareness upgrade. I uh, should be able to make that. What am I missing? I got the silicone. Uh, I've got the binding right there. Although I'm going to need a little bit more, I see. Uh, do I not have any eyes of Ender? That's what I don't have. Okay, that's easy. We'll just make up a couple of you real quick. Uh, Blaze. Just grab like a quarter stack. Just eight, just to make sure. There we go. Boop, boop. And now I should be able to make at least one of those and I can make a little bit more binding. Remote item. There we go. Bingo. Okay, cool. So... Hmm, I'm wondering, let's go put this, this will be so awesome if this works. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I would like to think it would. If it can see all that stuff, it should be able to, I would think. It's very much like trying to do applied energistics without applied energistics. Um, so if I put you there, right, and I set you to... Uh, in out right and you're on hot yeah and then I put a remote in here I would think I might need power to go to this that could be something I might need power to go to this is oh, this is gonna be fun to try to figure out how to use this thing well let's go get some power conduit plug it into the power and let's see let's see if that works I guess the first test would just be to see if it doesn't need power and, you know, it just reads it, then I should be able to see. Okay, yeah, so I don't see these yet. The water essence, I don't see that. So let's get some power going to that thing. Um, conduit. There we go. Let's grab that. Oh, and as a matter of fact, we can do the other ones real quick. I noticed that we got the conduit one here. That's a really, really simple. I can make some enhanced and some uh, ender as well as the, the fluid one. So let's get this one knocked out while we're here. Conduit. I need to make you. So there's six of you just to make you. And then I need you. 
And so there's four of those. And then I need to make you. Oh, I need more of that binder. Okay. Um, do I have any more dust in here? I got the dust. Do I have any clay? That's my downfall. Okay, I need to make some clay. Let me get a barrel. Real quick, like, let me just grab the stone barrel. And I need to grab some of that dust so I can make up some clay. So just grab half a stack. And we'll just go set it over by the water real quick. Fast clay. Fill up. There we go. Grab the dust. Fast clay. Fast clay. Really, really quick. Make sure I got plenty of it. I think, yeah, yeah, I think I still have salt, so we should be good. I gotta figure out a way to automate salt. That is one thing I have not figured out a way to even remotely come close to automating. So that'll be something to look into. But, ooh, come on. This would actually be kind of cool if I can get uh, a setup on the other side too. I should be able to see inventories from both sides if this works. If this works. All right. Um, so clay, you go in there. So I need binder. That's what I need. So I need to make you like that. Okay, cool. Let's just make a whole bunch of it. Whole bunch of it. There we go. That'll make some up real quick like. And that's probably more than enough for the moment. Let's go ahead and throw you in the system. And back to our conduits. So we were trying to make this one. What do I not have? Oh, the fuse quartz. I actually picked that up and moved it over here. That's an easy fix. Actually, I can put all that back. Um, you. There we go. And finally, the pressurized, which is the same exact thing. Oh, no, not the pressurized. The ender fluid. There we go. And that's the same thing, just with a vibrant. Okay, that's simple. Come on. Get in the system. Get in the system. There we go. So then we got those. Cool. That should be everything. Ha ha ha. So all of the con is done. Conduits are done. All right. So let us, let's go ahead and upgrade all the way to this energy conduit. We'll start swapping that stuff out. So I need to make you. So we'll just turn all of you into that, right? And then we'll make you. So that's 20. That's not horrible. Not horrible at all. Now I gotta tie you into the power. So I see power right there. Let us power tied in. I can't tell. I saw it go in, but I don't see it connected down there. Um, this is really hard to see. Let me move this real quick. Okay. So the power doesn't seem to be connected to anything. I don't know. Do you have power now? If I click on you, yeah, so power is connected. Uh, in, out, good. All right, let us go and check the power on the other side. And then eventually I'll get all these conduits swapped out because that's really not that hard to do. And we'll just start using the better stuff. Um, I don't even know, is there a... Oh, 180,000 RF per tick. Yeah, that's much more efficient. That's much more efficient. All right, so let us go get you connected with some power here. Um, I should only have to go to like the middle over here, right? Oh yeah, you're connected right there. Oh, does it have to be the same one? Can it not be two different conduits? Oh, good grief. Okay, well, I'm gonna go through and swap all these out real quick <coughs> or should I just yeah I'll go do that I'm gonna go swap out all the conduit real quick and uh, let's see if that's working properly so I gotta go collect all this conduit and that's gonna take a minute so we'll be right back I'm gonna swap it all out and then we'll see if this is all right travelers so I just got all the energy conduit swapped out uh, at least for this row I still need to kind of continue it down the line right now I'm still connected so these actually aren't running anymore because they have no power but I've got it all connected and check it out. Look at all of my drawers are gone. This actually ended up being awesome. Uh, I was kind of expecting a little too much out of it, uh, thinking that I might be able to kind of set it up like with a singularity and stuff like that, but that's uh, with the uh, uh, applied energistics. But it's pretty cool. 
The whole system works exactly the same, but now instead of going into the drawer controller and into the drawers, all the items are going into the dimensional transceiver. And as you can see, every so often, you'll see something pop through in the send. Um, well, it just finished all its harvesting, so it'll be a second. So yeah, when these are done, they'll actually go through. Here we go. And we should see them. Yep, there they go. And they send through back to the overworld. And that's where I set the boxes back up. Now they're in a total temporary location. I just wanted to test out to make sure everything was working properly. Which it is, which is awesome. And you can see all of them are just set up right here. I've still got the transceiver sitting right here. And it's just pumping out and into here. And every now and then you'll just kind of see them fill up. Now it's hard to tell because I'm already maxed out on Electrotine and Diamond and Iron still filling. So we might see one, what are we at, uh, 15,353. So we might see an ingot come through in just a moment or maybe gold. Nope, that gold's full. Nope, there they are. So yeah, so you can see them flying through. Like these things are mass producing really, really quickly. And they go into the system over here. So now all of our farms in the last millennium will be sending their items here and I don't have to go over there to get anything. So like when I'm producing ender pearls, all the ender pearls will be popping up over here and I won't have to go back over there to get them. So that's pretty freaking sweet, right? So I did um, forget to actually uh, <laughs> wait. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, it's okay. Um, so I claimed the uh, dimensional transceiver and I've got the chest on me. And then I also claimed the uh, conduits and I just made this reservoir. Like I said, I thought I was recording and I forgot to. Um, this one's pretty cool. You just actually make two, but if you make four of them, it's kind of like an infinite water source. Actually, let me kind of bring that out. I think it's kind of cool. I remember this actually from one of my buddy series he did a long time ago. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple. And you know, it's, it, yeah, it's just an infinite water source basically. Um, not even basically, that's exactly what it is. So you set these up. We'll just, we'll plop them down over here for right now. Um, you can do them in a two by two. Uh, we'll just stack them like this, right? And then you put some water in it and nothing happens. You put a little more water in it. Mm, fill, fill, fill. And now it's an infinite water source and I can always just take the water back out and it'll fill itself back up. And so, yeah, it's just another infinite water source, which is awesome because that right there is a whole lot cheaper than making these over here so I might end up making a couple of these so they can continuously pump but I don't know they don't produce the water nearly as fast as the infinite water source over there so we'll kind of see what we decide on that but it's a cheap cheap way to do it so I was grab the loot chest there and I'm thinking in our next episode I really want to start getting to the enchanter because even though I'm not really ready to dig into um, draconic evolution I can start kind of prepping for it. And one of the things I'm going to want is to get the enchantment uh, for Reaper. I think that's the name of the enchantment. Reaper? Yeah, I guess it's not going to show in the book. But yes, the Reaper enchantment. So we can start getting mob souls. And I can go enchant all of the diamond spikes at the mob farm and start trying to get some uh, Reaper soul or mob souls. So that's, you know, that's that's on the horizon. That's That's to come. And uh, yeah, so I want to get the enchantment table because the enchantment table will allow us to do that like super simply, right? So let's go and put that back and I'm going to grab another angel block. Actually, you know what? We'll just do it over here. I, I was building in the meantime, when I was waiting for all that dark steel, uh, I was or dark iron or whatever it's called. I, uh, I set up my preparation start to start building my villages and I want to do the icosahedrons. Um, I think it's going to be fun to do like a good 10 of them every episode just because I have so many, like so many, right? And so I think it'll be fun to start doing it. And this is going to be far enough away from the base that, you know, my main area that I feel okay doing it over here. So yeah, so I've laid down the dirt. I haven't planted any grass because I don't want any mobs spawning on it yet. But we're going to go ahead and do our icosahedrons over here. And this is how we're going to finish up today's episode. Because getting that dimensional transceiver and being able to bring all of our items from <clears throat> the last millennium to here, I think that's awesome. I didn't even know that's how it was going to work. So I'm really excited about that. Not to mention that we can do the power and all that stuff. So yeah. So let's go ahead and pop some of these. And you know, I'm going to fly just in case like I get all those creepers. I don't want to get blown up by creepers. 
And here we go. Oh, it's the invisible ghast again. Okay, there you are. Come on. Come on. Where you at? Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, you're right here. Oh, gotcha. Did I get the ghast here? I did get the ghast here. He was close enough for me to get the ghast here. That's awesome. An invisible ghast. That's just so mean, really. Like, really mean. All right. But we got a ghast here out of it, so that's cool. We don't ever have a lot of those going on. Let's see what's next. Ooh. Oh! Well, that was just uncalled for. Absolutely uncalled for. But I got some of the dirt back. And that's why we're doing this way over here. That was absolutely uncalled for. I thought we were going to get like an energy crystal. Just not that I ever need one, but I thought that'd be cool. Oh, what was that? Do you want to build a snowman? I didn't get the snow. I guess I was too far. I got the pumpkin, but I didn't get the snow. How funny is that? All right, next. These, I really do have fun with these. These more so because they're kind of crazy. The regular chance cubes, they're kind of cool, whatever, but these guys are really crazy. Um, I hear a lot of stuff. Oh, it's all you creepers. Yeah, see, that's that's why we're flying. Because I ain't messing with no John Cena's. Nah, we ain't messing with no John Cena's. And that one just keeps falling. Oh, he was like... <laughs> That was interesting. He was stuck in the block. As I clicked it, I ended up shooting him too. That's funny. I hear a sizzle. Sizzles are never good. That was interesting. I don't know what happened there. All right. Next. Something exciting. Something fun. Something not blowing all the dirt up. Come on. Give me something good. You again... That guy's kind of getting on my nerves. If You know, if you're going to spawn a wither in front of me, let me kill it. Let me be able to kill it. Don't just make him disappear. Oh, it's real! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Was not expecting that. All of a sudden, I saw the achievement said, it's real. Oh, my goodness. Look at the havoc <laughs> I'm very glad I did this this far out now. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired of them not being real. Oh, my goodness. Was not expecting that. That was actually kind of fun. Got some nether stars out of it. Not again. Stop. Come on. Can I get something new and different that doesn't blow my base up? Oh, look at the havoc that it wreaked. Oh, that's so funny. I saw the achievement pop in the top right-hand corner and said, it's real. And I was like, what? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm staying back this time. Are you real this time? Are you real? Are you real? Nope, you were a fake one. Well, now I know that there's a possibility of them to be real. That's good to know. Is there a gas still around here? The gas is still around here somewhere. Now there's two of them. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, he's over here. Where are you at? Oh, you're over there. Come on. Come on. Fighting an invisible gas just isn't fair. Got him. Okay. But I hear another one around here somewhere. He's not the only one. Man, my arrows are like everywhere. Yeah, I hear you. I actually saw you when the wither appeared. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're way over there. Well, at least I can see you. The wither made you appear. All right. Let's get you. Good. So we got a couple gas tears out of it and a couple nether stars out of it. Was not expecting that. That's uh, easier than going to collect wither heads to do that. Oh, look at that. It's all, pe it's in shambles. Well, yes, I think that is going to be a regular thing. We are going to definitely open a couple icosahedrons every episode and see how that goes. But um, I consider today a very successful episode. We got some good stuff done. Still, you know, not quite ready to go to the finish the beta stuff or whatever. 
But I'm thinking in the next episode, I do want to get a division sigil and uh, get some of these builder wands so I can actually do a little more building than 64 blocks at a time because that's all my unbreakable wands allow me to do at the moment. So that'd be something to look forward to. But yeah, I think this was pretty good. I am so excited about this dimensional transceiver right here because now we don't even have to go back to the nether, or sorry, not the weather, the last millennium to get most of our items. And I can actually make another one of these and connect it over to the stuff, the mob grinder, and we'll just be good to go. Yeah. So I, I'll chalk it up as a good one. Oh, loot crates. What am I thinking? Loot crates. Oh, get back here. Let's open up our loot crates. Let's see what fun stuff we got. It's been such a good day. I'm expecting to go that walrus. Really? Another walrus? A uh, piece of artifact. Another item dislocator. Cool. A backup. Infinity tool rod. Ooh. Unbreakable. Durability modifier times 10. That's interesting. Quarter heart. Nothing too special. But this is interesting. I'm going to look into that thing. That That's very curious to me. I don't know. But all in all, you know what? We got some of these bags on us. Let's just check the bags out, too. Oh, some gold and some more artifact armor. And nothing, nothing special. All right, cool. <clears throat> well, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns for me, please leave them down in the comments because I love interacting with you guys. Some of you more than others. Mr. Gamer, you know who you are. And Mr. High School Football, you know who you are. But anybody else, if you guys want any, if you have any advice for me, I really love to hear it. I do. I'm trying to make this a great experience for everybody as well as I'm learning. I know you guys are watching me going, dude, you shouldn't do that. And that's the type of stuff I want you to put down in the comments, right? Now, if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw and you want to see more craziness like this, by all means, hit that subscribe button. All it does is send you a notification letting you know when I post videos, which is just about daily now. So... Anyways, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.